A few thrills and spills, a few cars that have taken quite a few knocks, and of course the build-up to the massive race car kicking off in less than two hours' time. I talk about the uh, supercars hitting the track for the Vodafone Gold Coast 600, and a guy that is going to be front and centre for it. And uh, undoubtedly, I'm not going to ask him if he's going to be nervous about this, because I don't want to put him off, but uh, I think he's champing at the bit to, to get behind the wheel and absolutely rip it up. Gary Jacobson from Kelly Racing, how are you feeling at this point? Less than two hours to go before race time. Mate, first of all, what an intro, Alfie. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> a couple of times. I was here last year and I had an absolute ball. I was champing at the bit to get back here and do it all again. But uh, but for you, I mean, this is, this is me talking from the side of the track, watching things. It's a completely different experience when you're in it. Yeah, it's cool. It's, you know, one of the Hollywood rounds I'd, I'd put is, uh, you know, you turn up to the track, you're walking here in the morning, got the ocean on your right. You got people driving their boats to get to the track, you know, <laughs> going to corporate up on top of pit lane. You've got helicopters flying over the top, big buildings everywhere. Putting shadows everywhere on the track can make it a little bit difficult with them around, but hey, we're going to be racing under lights next year, so it's going to get bigger and better. Being involved in this race is an awesome opportunity for me, being a rookie. It's the first time I've been, you know, in charge of the steering wheel uh, to take the uh, car to the finish line. So, yeah, it's an awesome place, awesome event, nice and warm weather. Couldn't be better. Is this the perfect condition for racing, weather like this with just a light touch of wind? Yeah, but you don't want to jinx it because remember last year it rained too hard and it was so dark that we couldn't see and they cancelled the race. But... It certainly is, you know, lots of race car drivers behind the scenes actually have their race teams in Melbourne, but they live up here. So I think the weather here is pretty much perfect. What do they call it? The um, the Sunshine State. Is it still the Sunshine State? Pretty much most of the time, unless it's pouring down with rain like last, last time, so yes. Yeah, no, it's awesome. We've got another helicopter flying above us, but... <laughs> 300 k's in these sorts of conditions are tough so if you don't train and you don't prepare properly you don't drink your fluids it will find you out so i think drivers are more nervous about that they want to make sure that all the preparation that they've done is enough uh we've been on simulators all week because you can't test here you can't practice here it's a tough challenging circuit all the heat stays you know in between those two walls so Whatever it is today outside, say it's 30 degrees, it's going to be another 20 degrees hotter in the cockpit. So 50 degrees temperature inside the car could be higher. That is going to be sensational. Well, we really appreciate your time because we know the lead up to a big race, there's a lot going on and not just in the pits, but in your own mind and mental preparation and everything that you're doing in, in order to uh, be race fit, match fit and ready to go. So thank you so much for swinging by our little pit stop and having a chat with us. Best of luck, Eric. Thank you and thanks for listening.